Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to add um, things into your Roblox avatar using Roblox Studio. Or you can, or I'm also going to be showing you how to take it off, um, how to take items in your avatar that you don't want. So first things first, you have to open Roblox Studio and then pick the template you want, um, that you want added in. All of the links of the items I'm using well, no, not the items. The plugins I'm using are going to be in the description, so you guys can use them as well. So, first things first, you're going to notice that it's just going to be like this. And you have to go to View. You have to click Explore and Properties, otherwise you won't be able to change anything. Um, and then you go to Plugins. You need Load Character Already Pros Plugins, if you, are, if you don't already have that. And for this, you'll be needing Load Catalog Items. Note, um... The load catalog items is not going to work for clothing or faces, only for um, accessories like hair and stuff like that. Next, you want to have another tab open for the things you're going to be needing. And I'm going to be adding my avatar. You don't need the pro one, but you know, I didn't know at the time you didn't need exactly the pro one because it, did, it said it didn't work. But just don't worry, just go to plugins and then you're going to see it there. It's going to work perfectly well. Shimmers. This thing isn't really strict um, for capital letters or anything, it's not sensitive. So there you will have your avatar or whoever's avatar you're working on. Now you're going to see that when you have this triangle, you're going to be able to cut, like, let's say I don't want the red barrette anymore. Then you click it with two fingers if you're on a MacBook, and you click cut, and boom, it disappeared. Now if you want to add, it's a bit more complicated than that. Let's say I want to add these, um, this hair. You will have to copy only the ID meaning the number is 56802574478 using the controls command C to copy and then you go to you open it you open this thing that says load catalog items command V insert and you don't even have to bother on placing it well because you're just gonna waste your time go to this hat right here and then you drag it right here where it says the username of the avatar and it should be ready now I'm just going to delete the other hair I had on, cut. And for the faces, as I said, it's a bit different, and it's the same thing, the faces and the clothing. So, I don't know, just, maybe I'm going to add super, super happy face soup. Sorry, I misspelled it. Super, no, super, super happy face or whatever face you guys want, it really doesn't matter. Command C, copy the whole entire link, because if you don't copy the whole entire link, it's not going to work. You go here to the block, um, same thing, head, and then you open this with the triangle thingy, face, and it's going to appear with an orange square. Um, you delete it, you enter the, the one you want, and you should be done. It's really simple, alright, but um, at first, if you don't know how it works, it will be very complicated. Now, let's say I want something from the UGC catalog, so I'm going to go to Community Creations. Oh, wait, no, no, sorry, just any Community Creation. Um, why doesn't this work? Alrighty, so I want to add these mocha thingies. Mocha hair bow. Bows, or bows or really anything in general um, it, it works the same for anything let's say I want to add hmm, what should I add let's say I want to add these reading glasses for some reason you have to copy only the ID 419773997 command C back to Roblox Studio and you are going to use load catalog items again. Now this one is going to appear like an asset. Um, um, if it doesn't say that it um, worked well, it's just not going to work. Okay, there we go. They appeared finally. Um, and then you're going to see that the ones you already used does not have the triangle thingy. 
Um, so that's how you know. Um, it takes a bit of a while to get used to um, used to it because one time I had to work multiple of them at once, and I was having so much trouble. And you add it, and you have the glasses. And for clothing, it's the same thing as faces. Um, um, clothing, shirts. I don't know what to add. Let maybe the shoulder top is good. The whole link again. Command C. And you're going to go to shirt, and you're going to have to delete the one you have on. Command V, enter, and it should be there now. Pants is the same thing. Um, pants right there. I don't know what to add. Um, hmm. <laughs> it's taking me a while to think. It's probably going to take me a bigger while to think than to actually do it, you know. Maybe this white slit skirt, um, command C, again, and this time on pants, delete the whole thing they have on, command B, enter, um, it's gonna take a few tries, um, if it doesn't copy, and there are the skirts, and there is everything I added onto it, um, and that is pretty much how to do it. Um, for the UGC accessories, um, you just need to go into load catalog items, but for things like faces and clothing, you have to use these um, thingies right here, these controls from Explore. That's why you need to have Explore and Properties open, otherwise you would be completely lost. So that is it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hopefully you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, or you don't have to either ways. But, um... I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you if you ever need this and pretty much it, yeah. See you next time guys, bye!